Hey everyone, we're back with the weekly entertainment bubble. I'm your host and myhighplanes.com correspondent Aaron Rosas. I hope everybody had a wonderful week. We are recapping all of the top trending topics today. We're going to go over Elon Musk and of course the 900th day of Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp in court this week. So let's dive right into it. He bought Twitter for $44 billion. Um, experts are saying that if he you know, puts an edit button in there. Um, it will not be great for a lot of people who are being harassed considering they can go back and change things up. He said free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. Ugh. Makes me a little nervous there, people. And one of the things being in the Texas panhandle that I found interesting is you have people, as Greg Abbott specifically, telling him to bring the Twitter company here, the headquarters, to Texas. And then if you go to my high top, myhighplanes.com, we have an article on there that says there's a farm owner who's offering um, Elon Musk some land for free here in Texas to start building whatever, you know, his Twitter company, the headquarters, all of that jazz. I mean... Like that man needs more companies. Sometimes I think, when is it going to be enough? Is he just going to take over the world? Um, because I have no money and I would love to be a billionaire, right? I don't know if I would buy Twitter. I want to know from you guys, if you guys were billionaires, what would be the first thing you would buy? It would not be Twitter. I can tell you that it'd probably be like a Mercedes Benz or something. Or maybe Instagram. Instagram is a good platform too. Next up, week two of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp in court. You guys, I have to say that this was a super interesting week as Dr. Shannon Curry took the stand. And I gotta tell you, what an expert witness. She was hired by Johnny, D Johnny Depp's team. And I gotta say, she really spilled some tea, a ton of stuff. She reviewed all of Amber Heard's reports the reports of the entire trial, situational matters, um, therapist reports, nurses reports, all of this. Then she did her own sort of diving into Amber Heard. Amber Heard and her met a couple times, I believe seven to eight hours a day, and she evaluated Amber Heard herself. She has reported that Amber Heard did not have PTSD from the Johnny Depp relationship. And so she was able to find these by doing multiple tests. She also did an over 500 um, question answer, true or false uh, test that could determine, you know, personality disorders or anything along that lines. And so with all of this together, she basically said on the stand that Amber Heard had borderline personality disorder and histrionics, you know, uh, behavioral disorders. She said that people with borderline disorder tend to exaggerate certain things um, and that a lot of them have a fear of abandonment and that can trigger certain fierce emotions. So she explained it all, but I also have to say, I have never heard the word muffin in a span of one minute in my entire life. There's a whole thing about the muffins, you guys. The, they um, cross-examined her, Amber Heard's lawyers, and basically asked her, you know, did you tell your husband that you're meeting with Amber Heard, which is not allowed? No one is supposed to know this. And the doctor said, no, I did not tell my husband. And they said, well, you went, the husband got muffins for Amber Heard, did he not? And she said, yes, but I did not tell my husband that it was for Amber Heard. I told him, it was for a high profile case and they would not drop the muffin thing you guys so they came back and they said but your husband got the muffins and i'm like okay muffin 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 uh, we get it but she this is that's what she said and i guess that's their tactic that's the way of doing stuff i'm not a lawyer so this may be working i have no idea amber heard hasn't even taken the stand johnny depp was on the stand for four days so we will get so much more on this case I am so invested, you guys. I'm 100% invested. I want to know more. I want to figure out what's going on. 
and I definitely want to hear Amber Heard's side of the story as well and she is set to take the stand definitely very soon. Finally in some local entertainment news the America Sweethearts are going to be performing in Borger on May 5th at 7 p.m. Um, at Borger Senior High School so they will be there if you guys want to get some tickets. Um, so single ticket prices for the concert are $30 and $5 for students. So that will be a good time in Borger. And then I sort of want to get a shout out to Kat Keenan, our digital lead here at KMR Local 4 News, who wrote an incredible story on myhighplains.com about the origin of Amarillo by morning and the man who wrote it. Um, Terry Laverne Stafford, who was buried here in Lano Cemetery. It is an incredible read, you guys. So go check that out. It also details how it really, really got famous, how people began to hear it all the time. And just, it's an incredible article. So get that on myhighplains.com.